Okay, so we've we've talked about Cataclassic on this stream before. And I think it's fair to say that when we have done that, when we have talked about Cataclassic, enthusiasm for it has been, just like my mic was, muted. I feel like it's not something that people get incredibly excited for. I feel like when people talk about the classic era of WoW, they're talking about WoW, TBC, Wrath of the Lich King. They're talking about specifically pre-Cataclysm WoW. Cataclysm is like very explicitly the end of the classic era. Half the quests from the classic era literally disappeared as much as anything, right? So that was that was always one of the big kind of appeals of classic in the first place was there were huge parts of the game that just didn't exist anymore since classic. So, you know, and, and if you're going to have a classic Kata, that's where the question starts to raise, like, where does this stop? I think most of us assumed that, philosophically at least, Classic was something for Vanilla, Burning Crusade, and Wrath. And, you know, you get all these memes of like, well, I can't wait for Legion Classic, ho ho ho. Can't wait for Shadowlands Classic, ho ho ho. And that's a funny joke, but if we do move into a Cataclysm Classic, Legion Classic isn't a joke anymore. Like, if you are going to go on to Classic Cataclysm, there's literally no Classic you won't do. And we're, we are looking at an alternate WoW timeline at that time, which is basically just, like, 14 years behind. So it's like... British people will understand this analogy more than anyone else. It's like Neighbours. It's like... Neighbours happened in Australia, the TV show, and we got Neighbours like two years later. So it was a soap opera that was on every day and we had Neighbours in this country, but it was always just two years behind until it started showing less often in Australia and eventually we caught up over a course of years and years. But for a while back there, we were literally just two years behind all the time and that's what classic is going to be it's no longer like a museum piece or whatever it's like those tv channels which are just like another channel plus one it's just an hour behind right channel five plus one is the exact same channel but just like an hour behind <laughs> that's what we are starting to develop at this stage is is just like old wows following in the footsteps of new wow except except it's not though is it it's not because also from Burning Crusade onwards and particularly in Wrath of the Lich King and if, if they do go down the Cataclysm route, even more so, it's not actually the classic thing that we're getting, is it? Because they are making like very specific changes. The whole hashtag no changes thing lasted about one alpha cycle of classic before people were asking for changes. But even then, Vanilla Classic was very, you know, it, it, it was philosophically trying to keep things as close to uh, original as, as possible. Certainly the in initial kind of iteration of Classic was very much a museum piece as much as anything. It was meant to be for people who hadn't played Classic or Vanilla to see what Vanilla was like. That was its main appeal for me. You know, I just wanted to see what WoW was like before I started playing it. So I wanted it to be as close to uh, vanilla as possible, warts and all, you know. I didn't want anything to change it. Now, as the game goes on, there's less and less value in having a museum piece. You know, we all played museum piece, class uh, piece classic. So if there are genuine problems that people would like solved... As time goes on, it makes more sense to do that. And that's kind of become much more the philosophy going into TBC and Wrath. Changes are kind of expected in many ways um, and looked forward to by huge sways of the player base. And, you know, more and more, the feedback that you're getting on Classic from the diehards, from the people that keep Classic going, you know, and th that's not a huge number of people, but it's it, like, it's a big community. It's not a massive community, but it is a very, very dedicated community. And the 
you know, the changes that they're asking for are not with keeping the sanctity of, like, Wrath of the Lich King and the original vision of Wrath of the Lich King. It's not about that anymore. It's like, we literally just prefer Wrath to modern WoW and we want to make Wrath better. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Who cares? Like, they're paying their their sub. They like this iteration of the game better, but there's other things they think would make it better. Now, the problem is, I mean, that's the same problem that you're going to get with Retail WoW, is people don't agree on what makes the game better, you know? Like, in the same way that if you were going to go back in time with a thousand other people and you had to agree on what one thing you could take back in time with you to make your life better, you'd all pretty much disagree on what that one modern thing would be. And so, you know, in many ways, the problems that Classic is now faced with are the same problems that Retail WoW has, which is like everyone disagrees on how to make it better. And, you know, that was always off the table in Classic at first because you weren't going to make it better because hashtag no changes. That was just, you know, it was never a question. But now that we've established that you can, you are allowed to make Classic better, everyone disagrees on how to make it better again, just like with Retail. Um, so fair enough. <laughs> But who cares? Because they've still got the, the game that they prefer. And that's the main thing. And what I'm saying is that is not a bad thing. But gone are the days where, you know, it was a museum piece that didn't need that much kind of iteration or whatever. You could just recreate it and put it there for people to enjoy. All you had to really think about was the rollout, you know. Um, you know, it's it's a lot more work now uh, for devs and stuff as well. But who cares? Because it's a, it's a massive earner for them. It's brilliant. So the question is, if we're at the stage where massive changes are happening in Classic anyway then that does put something else on the table. And the thing that people have been talking about, the thing that they've dipped their toe into with Classic, which is Classic Plus. Now, people have been talking about the idea of Classic Plus for, well, since before Classic came out, frankly. Um, and, you know, it's become a, a more vociferous talking point ever since, as it has been established that changes are okay, actually, as Season of Mastery and stuff happened, which was like a whole new kind of gameplay mode. You know, the idea of a Classic Plus, where instead of being like Neighbours, the same game, but uh, 14 years behind, what you are running the risk of doing, and I use risk not in the bad sense here, but what could happen is that you end up with essentially an alternate wow timeline so it's like the amazing spider-man 2 is not the same movie as spider-man 2 right if we're going into plus territory you're not looking at wrath of the lich king classic anymore you're looking at wrath of the lich king 2 and you're not looking at Cataclysm Classic anymore, you're looking at Cataclysm 2. And it wouldn't be Mr. Pandaria Classic, it would be Mr. Pandaria 2. I think we all understand the difference between a Mists Classic and a Mists 2, right? And this is, like, simultaneously very exciting and fun to think about, and also the worst thing that could ever possibly happen in the history of WoW, in my opinion. Like, it's awesome, and it's possible to feel two ways. It's possible for a thing to be two different things, right? And for me to feel two different ways about it. And I think it is simultaneously amazing and wonderful and something that I would definitely be very interested in, but also the worst thing that could possibly happen. Cannibalizing is a good word to bring up there. I think you're cannibalizing your audience at some point. I already feel like the main business model of Classic is that they make... 95% of their money from Classic in the first, like, month of any new Classic release. I think even more so than retail, the, 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 the like, player base is front-loaded for Classic. Which it is in any game and any MMO, but, like, I think Classic might be the, the most front-loaded MMO player base in history. All video games, forget MMOs, but all MMOs, all video games, uh, MMOs, like, are generally less front-loaded in their lifetime than other video games. Like, you know, like, a single-player RPG experience will be much more front-loaded in its sales and in its, in, the, in its revenue, if it doesn't have an online element, certainly, 
uh, much more front loaded than like an MMO, which has subs that come for years and years and years. Uh, but MMOs, yeah, they're, they're, they're front loaded. Of course they are. But I think Classic is probably more front loaded than most, which isn't a problem. It's not, that's not saying anything bad about Classic at all. But, you know, like I think more people just go in specifically only to play a couple of weeks of Classic when it, when a new Classic expansion releases. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what I do. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If that's how you want to enjoy it, that's how you should enjoy it. You know, that's why there are always some, such big queues and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. They uh, Could they not release Kata and Mists at the same time? So Peter, people who hated Kata could skip. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. It's an interesting idea. It's just pressing a button, isn't it? it uh, yeah, it's just pressing a button. That's all that goes into a classic release. Just pressing a button. It's easy. It's easy. Well, yeah, and there is a fractioning, like, uh, problem. Is there... Now, I'm... This is how little I play Classic and how little attention I pay to it, right? But, I mean, can I go and play Vanilla Classic right now on Classic? Like, there are vanilla servers, right? Yeah, yeah. And TBC, can I go and play TBC? At the moment. Like, I know I will be able to eventually, but... Um, have they all changed to... No, I so I, I literally cannot play TBC right now. Because it's in pre-patch. It's in uh, Wrath pre-patch. Like, TBC Classic is in the TBC stage of Wrath PTR. No, so we're not going to have TBC servers. TBC is just going to fuck off. I joke. Uh, wow, that's weird. You can go on to Classic and you can play Vanilla Classic and Wrath Classic, but not TBC Classic. Not enough interest. Yeah, I know, but isn't it about a completionism, though? Like, so, you're right, you're right. If there's no interest, there's no interest. But this is another thing that Classic has that, that retail doesn't have. I kind of feel, and this comes from the museum part of it, right? Now, if you disagree with this, let me know. But something I feel about Classic is it almost has a duty to keep going like what's the point in tbc classic even existing in the first place if you then get rid of it like isn't it meant to be isn't one of the important things about classic that it's there and you can play it it just feels weird that you've got this whole thing and the whole point about it is that it's bringing back old old um expansions so if they disappear again that just seems a bit weird to me it kind of defies the point a little bit really I feel like part of the role, and this is only me, and if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. Of course it is. But for me, part of the role of Classic is to give you the old expansions if you want to play them. Even if no one is fucking playing it, it still feels a little bit wrong not to have it. Here are the questions, because they're quite interesting, these questions. Bear in mind everything we've just talked about with a Classic, right? World of Warcraft Classic will be bringing back Wrath of the Lich King in 2022. After Ra World of uh, Warcraft Classic, Wrath of the Lich King comes out, what would you like to see World of Warcraft Classic team do next? Please be as specific as possible because we're going to have a computer program picking up keywords. <laughs> the expansion after the original Wrath of the Lich King was Cataclysm. We would like to get your feedback of the features and systems introduced in, Cat in the Cataclysm expansion. If you're familiar with WoW and Cataclysm, please think about the expansion as it was when originally released and separate it from systems and features that you may be familiar with in modern WoW, Shadowlands, or the current classic releases. That's a really interesting question. I haven't actually read these questions before. That actually puts a slightly different bent on it. The way this question is phrased makes it sound like they are going to introduce Cataclysm systems into Wrath to me. That question makes it sound far more like they're asking what systems should we bring into Wrath Classic later on to change it. That question is not being like, would you like cataclysm classic that's like going what cataclysm stuff you know the expansion after wrath was cataclysm assuming we're not going to go to cataclysm right what stuff would you like introduced into wrath like so basically extending like the modernity of the game but without extending the expansion of the game interesting it's an interesting question 
that question, and you know, maybe other questions will be different, but that question definitely makes me think that they are thinking of uh, system, you know, iterations that they can add into like Wrath Classic in the future rather than go on to a Cataclysm Classic. It's interesting. How interested would you be in playing the next classic expansion based on each of the following features? If you need to be reminded of what this feature is, hover over the feature for definition. Guys, I'm telling you, listen, listen. How interested would you be in playing the next classic expansion based on each of the following features? Not how interested would you be in playing Cataclysm Classic? How interested would you be in playing the next classic expansion? I'm telling you, it's going to be Wrath again, but with Cataclysm features. That's what they're asking. They're not gauging people's uh, appetite for Cataclysm Classic. They are gauging people's appetite for staying in Wrath, but introducing like other expansion features into it. Whether or not they'll do it, that's definitely what they're asking. Right. Which of the following features would make you most interested in playing the next classic expansion? If you need to be reminded of what feature this is, they are very, very purposely not giving expansion names here. And if everyone came out and answered, oh, the thing I would look forward to most in the next classic expansion would be the world revamp. Then, yeah, you're going to end up with, like, Cataclysm Classic. But... I think they are gauging the appetite for not doing that. I think they are gauging the appetite for continuing through the expansions in terms of features and, like, gameplay changes, but not doing the Cataclysm. And that opens up the WoW multiverse, man. That opens up alternate timeline WoW, where the Cataclysm doesn't happen. This is what they're getting. I'm telling you, this is what they're gauging right here. Yeah, WoW Classic becomes WoW What If. I wouldn't be completely against that. I think it would be confusing. And here's the thing. I think it'd be really fun. I think in the long run, it would be very bad. And hurt the player base and all the rest of it. But whatever, man. Who cares? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we... When we uh, when we get to it, right? For now, it's fun to think about. They are working out if they can not do the Cataclysm. And I think that's a very good thing to try and gauge because I think there'd be a lot of interest, a classic WoW, where it does progress beyond Wrath, but the Cataclysm doesn't happen. Now I've read these questions, there's no doubt in my mind. I, it never even crossed my mind that this is what they were asking before. But when I read these questions now, that's what they're asking, I'm certain of it. I don't see how they have the development power to make two games. No, me neither. Which is why they're just gauging, like, the systems and what systems they can move over rather than, like, a whole new storyline and stuff like that. It's interesting. Uh, this section of the survey asks the user to choose their favourite colour. Depending on their answer, they likely receive a different ending to the survey. Apparently, choosing the colour green will lead to a survey about thoughts on a cataclysmic with absolutely no changes. In these screenshots, the user chooses the color black, asking about a cataclysmic with significant changes. This is what happens if you clicked on black. Please read the description below carefully, as you will be asked questions on your interest in and opinion on playing the next World of Warcraft classic, classic expansion based on the concept you are being shown. Following the final patch of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, continue into classic uh, cataclysm where the Breaker of Worlds, Deathwing, has burst forth from the heart of the Maelstrom, transforming Azeroth. The game will release as it was in 2010, with some changes that may enhance and update the gameplay experience. Key features retain some pre-cataclysm features that were streamlined or simplified exclude oh, okay interesting exclude the looking for raid feature hmm. increase level cap to 85 incursion of two new races inclusion of two new races walkins and goblin what one word would you use to describe this concept of world of warcraft cataclysm classic yeah what one word would i use to describe it eh bye <laughs> Next. <laughs> Which of the following most closely aligns with what you would want as the next expansion? So, 
These are the choices they give, which are all leading prods, right? Or every answer they give in, in a questionnaire like this is a prod. The next expansion would focus on Cataclysm without any changes. The next expansion would focus on a new season of Mastery in Classic, Burning Crusade Classic, and Wrath of the Lich King Classic. The next expansion would focus on Cataclysm with sun changes. There is no skip to Mop Classic, unfortunately. Yeah, I think they... I think... I wouldn't be surprised to see us not go to Cataclysm, but have some Cataclysm features, which many would see as the beginning of alternate timeline wow i don't know mm, interesting interesting i'm one of those people that i'm just super glad the classic exists and i'm glad uh you know i'm if the classic community is happy then i'm happy